What's up heroes, I'm Colin from Render Effects and today we'll be creating the flash lightning eyes effect in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Start by filming a close-up shot of your subject facing directly into the camera. It's crucial that your subject does not blink throughout the entire shot. Navigate to the description below to find a link to footage crate where you will find the free composite for this effect. Create a free account to download it. Use the search bar to look up static mid and then download this effect. Afterward, import the composite into your Final Cut Pro project and place it in the timeline above your primary shot. This composite features a natural fade in and fade out, which we do not need for this effect, so trim the first and last frames to eliminate it. Now, to ensure this composite spans the entire shot, duplicate it repeatedly until it covers the full sequence. In order to duplicate, hold Option and click and drag. Next, convert the series of lightning composites into a compound clip and label it lightning. Set the blend mode of the compound clip to screen and use the transform tool to scale down and position the lightning effect over the subject's eyes. From the color inspector, adjust the hue of the lightning to your preference. Enhance this effect by adding a glow effect, which will accentuate the lightning. Now, in the viewer, navigate to the tracking feature and set a new track. Scale down the tracker to cover the same eye you've assigned the lightning composite to. Ensure the tracker source is set to your base shot. Click Analyze and Final Cut Pro will automatically track the lightning composite to the eye. To confine the lightning effect to the pupil, add a draw mask to the lightning clip. Isolate just the pupil of the eye with the mask. Increase the feather slider until the mask's edges blend seamlessly. With this done, one eye should have the desired lightning effect. Let's further enhance this by adding a glow around the eye. Duplicate the lightning clip by holding the option key and dragging downwards. Convert the bottom lightning clip to a new compound clip and label it glow. Apply the Gaussian blur effect to the glow clip. From the color inspector, raise the highlights until the glow effect becomes visible. Adjust the highlight color to match the hue of the lightning. Play back your shot and tweak the Gaussian blur intensity and highlight levels until you achieve your desired result. With one eye complete, it's time to replicate this effect for the other eye. For efficiency, follow these steps. Duplicate the lightning clip, positioning it above all the other clips in the timeline. Adjust the transform settings so the duplicate lightning overlay aligns with the second eye. To add some diversity, you can rotate the lightning composite and place it in a slightly different location. From the tracking feature, set a new track over the other eye, ensuring that the tracker source is set to your base shot. Click Analyze and adjust the draw mask points to encompass the pupil. Duplicate the lightning clip again, creating a new compound clip labeling it Glow 2. Select the original Glow clip and press Command C. Then select the Glow 2 clip and press Command Option V to paste the attributes. Now with both eyes finished, your flash lightning eyes effect is complete. Here at Render Effects, we offer professional video editing. So shoot us an email or DM us on Instagram if you're in need of anything, from corporate videos to VFX to social media. If this tutorial was helpful, you have to watch our flash super speed tutorial. See you next week, peace.